this is quite interesting. What we've got here is a very unique screen protector. Well, not unique, but look at the box this thing comes in. This thing is truly enormous. So this is for, this particular one is for a Samsung Galaxy S21 Ultra. These types of screen protectors with the UV curing lights are the only way to get a screen protector on these phones that works with the fingerprint sensor because normal traditional screen protectors that don't use this UV gel on a microscopic scale, they just don't bond completely with the screen. There's microscopic bubbles and those get in the way of the fingerprint sensor. So these solve that problem. So here's my case. This is actually a Ring Key Fusion X. I absolutely love this case. And here's my phone. You can see that really nice textured gloss look. Look at that. Yeah, first things first, uh, I'm gonna watch the video. Also, right here I've got my uh, silicon mat for working on tech stuff. It's really nice. Really love this thing. Okay, so I have everything written down here now. Got my timer up here and my notes as well. Only a second display here. And um, first things first, you don't want any external sources of UV light. That makes sense. So we're gonna make sure that there's no UV light around here. Okay, so we only have LED lighting in here. No CFLs or anything, so I don't think there should be any UV or anything weird like that. All right, so next up, the usual step in applying a screen protector, which is of course clean. So in this little screen protector accessories kit, we have the dry wipe, which is marked two, dust collector, which is marked three, wet wipe is marked one. Let's start with the alcohol wipe here. Just thoroughly clean this. This is a brand new phone, so it should be pretty clean. I want to get in there in the very tiny gap for the uh, speaker grill. Get all the stuff around the corners there. I don't want it peeling up at the edges or anything like that, because I believe it is curved at the edges. Let's dry that off with the dry wipe. I am really, I'm always terrible at this stuff. There's always some kind of dust that gets in there. I mean, it's inevitable. Next, we need these foam bits that go onto the sides here. I believe three of them. Well, that's what the razor knife is for. I see. <sighs> okay, I finally got these on. Um, I figured they would be like pool noodles, but um, they kind of are, but they're very, very cheap clone pool noodles, so they're, they're very hard to work with. Yeah, looks good. Ah, there we are. I don't know, these, uh, the pool noodles are not very secure. Um, I don't know how this, this is gonna prevent you from, from putting it in, from getting it stuff. Ah, there we are. Uh, the instructions did not make that very clear. More, more wetness. More dryness. I guess this is the, uh, purpose for this thing. Oh yes, yes indeed. Well, the important part is that there's none in the fingerprint sensor department. Okay, I think it's 100% dust free now. So next, this guy apparently goes in somehow. I'm not entirely clear on how or what this does. All right, I think I've got it. Now we just need the star of the show, the screen protector itself. Oh, 
there's something down there. Okay. So. Uh-oh. I've, uh, I've made a grave mistake here. <laughs> this has to come out first. So it's like one bubble down here where the fingerprint sensor goes. So two thirds go here in the center, one third down here. And I think that's all of it. Oh no. There's always some kind of dust that collects while you're trying to get rid of it. Here goes nothing. Here we go, boys. Come on. That's, that's not, that's not doing it right. Oh no, 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 no. It's going in opposite directions now. Hopefully that's spread, and now right over the fingerprint sensor is where this weight goes. So, 30 seconds, and go. You can see the UV curing light there is going, it's curing. We are gonna turn the light off here. Looks cooler anyway. 20 seconds, and counting. Then we take the weight off, and now, 120 seconds. Anyway, I think it's safe to turn on the fan at least, so I'm gonna do that cuz Damn, this makes you sweat. It's like a high-risk operation, man. Hey, am I gonna destroy my Thousand dollar plus phone today, but hey the payoff is huge Morty It's uh Having a glass screen protector Probably shouldn't be staring at it so much considering this is UV light <laughs> That is two minutes. Next, the phone is to be removed. So this was a something that they didn't touch on in the video. It's not fully cured yet. Oh, I guess you just kind of destroy these. I guess that's why they say to slice them. Because now you can you can take it out. Um, maybe I should have gotten out my pry tools. Oh, let's try pushing out from here. Uh-oh. I heard a snap, but I think it was just because it was glued in to it with the glue. So, I think that's okay. Final, final stage. We're going for gold here, guys. So it says 15 seconds on each side. Let's do 20, because, I don't know, just in case. All right. I think that's good. I'm just gonna do a bit more on the top. On this side. And I think that's basically good. Well, I gotta say, I don't see a single flaw in that. I mean, my application probably wasn't even the best. I probably did this horribly, and yet completely, perfectly clear. Let's get a view at nothing wrong with the camera either. And the camera app doesn't give any kind of warning about your camera might be blurry, covered which it does with some of the cheap plastic screen protectors that do cover the cameras. I cleaned this off a bit more, also ran it through water. You know, you can do that since they're waterproof phones. So yeah, let's see if the fingerprint sensor works. I re-registered it and there you go. It feels pretty much just as fast as it did before. and just as hit or miss because sometimes you can't get your finger in the right spot. That's always been a problem with these. And if I try to scan a finger that isn't on there, 
of course, nothing. So it's not a false positive or anything. Sounds totally the same. And I don't see any, so I've got my light here to help. Really nice LED light here. Got an adjustable scroll bar wheel here. Really like this thing. Anyway, other than my grubby fingerprints I just got all over it, uh, don't didn't see any per imperfections in it. I'm pretty sure there's not any in the f in the buttons here. Yeah, I've cleaned off the stuff that I got on the top. You can barely even see a hole for the, the top bar here anymore. <laughs> they make these so small these days. But yeah, I don't see anything in any gunk in there. So I'm pretty sure those soul noodle thingies worked. There's a little bit of gunk left on the bottom here that some dust is sticking to. I'm still working on wiping that away. But that's basically the only spot where it's stubborn. All in all, I'm keeping my previous rating. I'm terrible at applying screen protectors, but this one worked with me pretty well. Oh, bonus that I forgot earlier. Um, I actually haven't tried this yet, so let's find out together. Um, we need to see if the stylus still works after this. So this is something I didn't even see them mention because this is the first non-Galaxy Note phone to support a stylus. So uh, here we have a really old Galaxy Note Samsung stylus that definitely does work with it because it's a genuine Samsung stylus just from a really old Samsung product. And here I have a Microsoft Surface Pen that happens to use the same exact technology, so it does work. And look at that. Totally working. Totally working. Eraser works. And let's test the sketch functionality. Look at that. Thin line. Thick. Let's draw a really thin one and a thick one, and there you go, the pressure sensitivity still works. All in all, I would rate this product uh, excellently, and my skills of applying screen protectors as 0 out of 10. Like and subscribe.